Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a project for Newton's Nook Designs using an oldie but goodie. This has been in the Newton's Nook Design shops for a while and it's called Cultivated Cacti. We're going to make a fun um, just stick by me card <laughs> and I love cactus and I like the solid images because it's just so easy to break out your your inks and stamp and create so we're taking some white cardstock putting it in our misty here we're going to take one of the cacti and we're going to color in our cacti or ink them up with distress oxide inks um, I'm going to take the one that is that has arms basically <laughs> and we're going to ink it up with uh, shabby shutters I'm going to stamp it a few times it's beating up on my new stamp so I think if I stamp it again it's going to be nice and solid and then I do want to add a little bit of gradient with the color so a little bit of dimension so to do that I'm going to take a slightly darker ink this is peeled paint and then I'm just going to go along the edge of my stamp this is going to um, add a little shadowing to the right side of my cacti and it's going to give it a little bit of dimension so once we have this done we're going to move on to our second we're going to make two little um, uh, succulent pots so this next one we're going to ink up with twisted citron we'll stamp that this is such a pretty succulent and then we'll do a little shading with an ink that's slightly darker than twisted citron we're going to use mode lawn and you can really basically just kind of roll your ink pad along the edge and it will just you don't want no harsh lines so try to avoid doing that um, I do want a little bit more of the mode lawn on the bottom so I'm gonna add a little more ink and I am happy with the way this turned out now there's quite a few flowers well uh, there's a couple of flowers in the cultivated cacti stamp set and I chose this one kind of reminded me of a prickly pear jam <laughs> my mother used to make um, I stamped two of those flowers with pink raspberry and then I'm going to stamp one of the flower pots with wild honey we're gonna go with some orangey colors for our succulent pots I'm gonna grab another one and I love that you can mix and match that's the best thing about this I picked up another one with the lid of my misty and we're gonna go in with another orangey color this is right persimmon and we're not going to add any gradient to our flower pots we're just going to keep them solid and bright I think that's going to work out great and those are just the images we're going to use today I'm going to use to separate the coordinating dies line them up tape them down and we'll run these through our die cutting machine and um, after we have all of these die cut we'll set these aside just taping down making sure that I don't hit my oxide inks so there we go now we're going to work on our background and our background I'm going to be using the frameworks die set this is a nice stash builder die set and I like the large postage edge um, I'm actually going to create a frame with it so I'll take one of the inside frames it's the one with the scallops that are facing the inside I'm going to actually just use that not as the frame itself but to create a frame with the post the postage edge and then for my sentiment we're going to use this little ticket die that's the smallest one in the frameworks die set we'll run this through the die cutting machine so we have a frame and a piece that looks like a ticket for our sentiment and that's good to go now i want to put something behind my frame and I mentioned earlier we're going to make a night sky so that's what we're going to do I'm taking a panel it's actually a Strathmore Bristol smooth cardstock and we're going to ink blend a night background using three distress oxide inks I'm going to bring in my little craft mat and we're going to start by ink blending tumble glass now I sped this part up really fast um, tumble glass is going on the very bottom and I'm just using my blending brush our mid-tone color is another blue this is a darker blue it's faded jeans and we'll ink this up kind of blending the two together on the bottom and then we're gonna add a really darkest ink the darkest you can get I guess black soot to the very top and we're gonna add some black for our night sky I want kind of a gradient night sky and I think this is gonna work out great 
I do need to blend these two colors a little bit more and when I did that I created a black soot line but I kind of liked it so I went with it <laughs> and we're going to end up trimming this panel down and putting it behind our window frame. Now I wanted some shimmer to my background, my night sky, so I went through my stash and I found some perfect pearls. This is a mist and it's very old. I don't even know if they still have it or not, <laughs> but it, it's like a silver shimmery mist. I'm going to go ahead and heavily spray my background panel in my little, my little spray box. We'll let that oxidize for just a little bit and I was really surprised actually that the nozzle wasn't clogged because um, I think I've had it for a, over five <laughs> years but it still works like a charm and it still it creates a really pretty soft um, uh, shimmery background so my panel is pretty saturated so I'm gonna use my heat gun and dry it and then I trimmed down my panel and added that directly to my A2 size card front and then for my frame I popped up with some foam tape and added that to the card base as well. Now we're going to stamp our sentiment for my card today. I chose thank you for sticking by me. I think that's a cute sentiment and we'll stamp that with my Versafine Onyx Black ink in the center of that little ticket there. After we have our sentiment stamped, we're going to go ahead and add foam adhesive behind all of our cacti pieces and also our sentiment. My ink's probably still a little wet on my sentiment, so I'm going to um, lightly add the adhesive. Sometimes when you flip it over and add it to your craft mat to put adhesive behind it, it smears. So I was extra careful about that. Lower this a bit. And then I want to add one pot to the left of my sentiment and one on top of my sentiment. And then I did add the little flowers for a little extra color. Scoot this over just a bit. And I love the cacti in the night background. I think it's really pretty. Now for bells and whistles, I'm just gonna, I want to spread out the white a little bit. So I'm gonna bring in my um, white gel pen. I'm gonna add a few dots to, this, to the flower. And then I'm also going to add some Simply White Crystal Drops around my background just to spread out the white of the frame on the inside of my, my night sky. And then I wanted a little glittery, a little extra sparkle. Um, the Perfect Pearls adds a shimmer but not sparkle. So I'm using my Ranger um, Silver Stickles and when you tilt the card it just makes it so pretty because it really does add a little bit of sparkle. So that's my project today for Newton's Nook Designs. If you're interested in anything, it's listed below. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Have a fabulous day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.